Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, this video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, this mixtape is in the description box, it is absolutely free, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video is sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we all from, now, one of the Liam boys, Liam Smith, gets a home game in Liverpool versus Sam Eggington, March 30th, 2019. Another fight that's not on a lot of people's radar, but we cover everything over here on G5 Jeff TV. Liam Smith, he lost recently to Jaime Munguia. Um, he was doing good early, but... Jaime Munguia really just turned up the Jets on him, just showed that youth and energy and enthusiasm and power and just overwhelmed Liam Smith in that fight. Um, but it was a good fight. It was a good, solid fight. And for the people that don't know who Sam Eggington is, Sam Eggington is the guy that put Paulie Malignaggi in retirement. That was Paulie Malignaggi's last fight. That was Paulie Malignaggi's last loss. And even before that fight happened, people knew Paulie was talking about retirement, but people didn't think, you know, Sam Eggington was going to go in there and put it on him, you know, put it on Paulie like that. Now, Sam Eggington hasn't done a whole bunch um, since then, you know, and, you know, his name is, you know, his name is still relevant. Don't get me wrong. Like, his name is still relevant, but... You know, just the steam kind of came off after that Paulie fight. But it's always interesting to see a guy get a home game, you know, uh, especially a guy like Liam Smith. He's not the most talented guy in the world. Um, fights at 154, but he a lot of times he comes in smaller than other 154-pounders. And we're going to see if Liam Smith can get back on the winning track against Sam Eggington. Now, the reason why I'm even mentioning this fight is because there's a lot of action at 154. A whole lot of action at 154. Liam Smith gets a victory. You could see him against uh, a variety of guys at 154. You can see you can see him against possibly a J-Rock. You can uh, you can see a Liam Smith, Erickson, Lubin fight. That's a good fight right there. You know what I'm saying? If, if Tony Harrison wants to get a, you know, title defense, a voluntary, you know, he can get a Tony Harrison fight. Um, if any of the guys at 147 wants to move up to 154 and test the waters, a uh, Earl Spence or a uh, uh, Keith Thurman, if they want to go up to, you know, 154, they can make it happen. Kell Brook, Liam Smith, that's a good fight. You know, so his, his options is open for Liam Smith, and it seemed like they're setting him up nice by giving him a home game on March 30th. But I got to do some homework on Sam Eggington in terms of recently. I was familiar with him prior to the Paulie fight, um, but he's kind of faded off my radar, at, you know, since then. So I'll definitely go check out some uh, Sam Eggington uh, fights. Hopefully they on YouTube, and I can go check him out and see if he's – improved his game or he kind of you know been slipping since that Paulie fight but I'm not sure if this fight gonna be on the zone or if a network's gonna pick it up in the states um if not I'll definitely find a stream and definitely watch it um I definitely think these is two guys is worth watching and I think the winner of this fight can definitely get some uh guaranteed action at 154 because it's not one dominant guy at 154 is this a, a lot of a minus b plus b guys at 154 but that's what makes 154 so exciting and i think 154 is one of the best divisions in boxing it's one of my favorite divisions in boxing as well y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times i appreciate y'all
Peace.